Evening, up to 2,000 mangled ballots are surfacing right now. Perhaps shredding hopes for a final vote before tomorrow's deadline. Dan Corcoran is at the Vote Tabulation Center in Riviera Beach. Dan? Well, we just got word just a couple of minutes ago that an additional 1,000 uh, provisional ballots actually just arrived at this facility. So three full days after the polls closed and just 13 hours till election results are due, the vote counting continues here at this facility tonight, a process that was delayed after vote counting machines took about 2,000 ballots in, but then wouldn't spit those ballots back out. It is perhaps the last thing that Supervisor of Elections Susan Booker or the voters of Palm Beach County want to see. Crinkled, crumpled ballots looking more like accordions than official election 2012 documents. Those are very common. That's common. Yes, it is. Uh, happens in every election. Only our camera was rolling on Wednesday afternoon as technicians tried to pull dozens of ballots out of this vote tabulation machine. A similar problem occurred again Thursday night. Is there an estimate of how many may have been affected by that? malfunction. It's thousands of ballots. It's a couple thousand ballots that get damaged as we're tabulating the ballots. Booker originally told me that she wanted all of Palm Beach County's votes counted by today at 3 p.m. But efforts to finish the job were slowed yet again by this machine malfunction. Back in the spotlight again as Palm Beach County returns its election results on pace to be behind any other county in Florida. And you're looking live now at the canvassing board as they sift their way through those remaining provisional ballots. The deadline for this in every Florida county to submit their unofficial results to the State Division of Elections is noon tomorrow. Susan Booker wants her tabulation team to complete its work before they go home tonight. We'll have to wait and see if that does happen. Reporting live in Riviera Beach tonight, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.